You'll have had your tea, the doings of Hamish and Dougal. Today, gambling fever. Oh, Hamish, you'll have had your tea. Well, I... Jings, Dougal, it's a wee bit dark in here. What? I think I'll stand over here by the window. Oh, very well. It's not like you to hog my shaft of sunlight. Well, <laughs> it's still a bit gloomy. Can you see me quite clearly? As clearly as I want to, yes. <laughs> not clearly enough, it seems. Do you still have that big theatrical spotlight left over from the Hamdram's production of Ben-Hur? Oh, the one we used for the chariot race. Oh, yes, to pick out the Emperor's box. Yes, yes, yes. yes of course. <laughs> of course I do. Why do you ask? I was wondering if you'd care to switch it on. Oh, anything for a quiet life. Oh, 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 I'm dazzled. Don't, don't point it in my eyes. Point it a little higher up. Oh, very well, but I really don't... What? What in the world is that on your head? What? That? Oh, this. Ah, I wasn't going to mention it, but... Uh... <laughs> but if you must know, it's a tweed sporran cosy. Oh. <laughs> but uh, tell me, why is it on your head? Well, it would be a wee bit ostentatious to wear it on my sporran. Uh, but wherever did you get it? Since you ask... I won it. You won it? It was first prize in this week's Glen McLottery. It was a rollover. <laughs> Some people get all the luck. Ah, exactly. And that's why I'm away to the races. Come on, to the race course. Luck be a laddie tonight. <laughs> Don't wear your sparring too tight. Come on, Crazy Tam! Crazy Tam! Go, Crazy Tam! Crazy Tam, come on! Hey, come on, Crazy Tam. There's people in the queue behind you. Place your bet and piss off. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the bravely born handicap. The runners and riders are making their way to the starting gate. Leading the way is the Evans favourite, Evans favourite, and the 100 to 1 shot, Dandy Dinmont. Followed by the horse I have entered in this race, Double Entendre. <laughs> oh, Dougal, I'm sitting on the edge of my seat with excitement. Well, sit further back. You'll find it less stimulating. Oh. <laughs> Look, there's 50p riding on that dandy Dinmont. I pity they couldn't afford a jockey. <laughs> This is no time for jokes. It's a tragedy they couldn't afford a jockey. Uh, they're under starter's orders. On your marks. Get set. What's going on? It's Mrs. Nocte. Mrs. Nocte, our housekeeper stroke cleaning lady. What's she doing blazing away with the Kalashnikov AK-47? <laughs> Horse racing is a cruel and barbaric sport, and I'm here to put an end to it. What, by shooting all the horses? Oh, I haven't, have I? It's the laird I was aiming for. Yeah, no hard feelings, your lordship. Not for some time now, Mrs. Nocton. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the race, all the horses seem to have run away, apart from my own double entendre, who's on the final stretch. The only runner left... Just a minute. What's this? Dandy Dinmont coming up fast on the rails. Come on, Dandy! Aye, look at that wee dog go. Oh, and Dandy Dinmont wins by a wet nose. Hey, Hurrah! Hey. So, Hamish, you win this time. But I shall get my revenge. I shall take advantage of his gambling fever and use it against him. I shall bleed him dry. <laughs> Me 
Mr. Dougal, I've been silent long enough. Well, that's a matter of opinion, Mrs. Narkley. <laughs> Something I just have to get off my chest. What is it? It's Marmite. Look, it gets everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't it? Just. After you with the Marmite flannel. Uh, there. <laughs> there, there, that's better. I uh, waste not, want not. <laughs> Mr. Dougal, it's Mr. Hamish. He's bothering me. Aye, he's bothering me too. What? Every night? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. No, not every night. No. He has a new lover now, and Madame Gambling is a demanding mistress. Aye, but he keeps winning. What can we do, Mrs. Nochty? I've tried everything. To stop him going to the betting shop, I hid all his kilts. Good thinking. But he still went, marching away down the high street as pleased as punch. Oh, I still go hot and cold whenever I rerun the video. <laughs> oh. Hello! Eek! Well, it's you that hid the kilts. Hamish, Hamish, what are you doing? Smoking expensive cigars and flashing your wad. Did, did nobody ever tell you? That's vulgar. Oh, you're just jealous. Put it away, we've all seen it. Oh, very well. It's all right, Mrs. Nocty. It's safe for you to get out of the bath now. At last. Is that Marmite, Mrs. Nocty? <laughs> oh, the flannel, Mr. Dougal. Turn your backs, gentlemen, please. Thank you, Ewan and Kirsty. That was as fine an exhibition of potholing as you're likely to see this evening. I must say, this is an improvement on last year's church social. Oh, I enjoyed that. Mm, a little sumo wrestling goes a long way with me, I'm afraid. Those women look quite ridiculous. <laughs> And that tells me it's bingo time. Hooray! I've got a bingo card here with my name on it. Off we go, eyes out for a full English. <laughs> Ahem. On its own, number 14. This is the devil's work. Gambling is no place at a church social. Where's that vicar? Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I want no part of this. I'm off. And you're lucky I'm leaving you with your balls intact. <laughs> right, your ladship. On with the bingo. Clickety-click. 74. <laughs> yes! Two fat ladies? Yes! No, you two fat ladies over there. Could you sit down, please? I can't see the room. <laughs> Thank you. Where was I? Oh, yes. All the fours. 88. House! Could somebody please pass me a set of well-gritted teeth? Have I won the big prize? Yes. Free life membership of my new casino. Yes! You'll be very welcome, said the spider to the fly. <laughs> welcome to Mac Vegas. James, Dougal, this is Punter's Paradise. Oh, it's just the big hoose with a makeover. He's just pushed back the furniture and slung a bit of tinsel on the old stag's antlers. Look over there, a one-armed bandit. Where? There, playing the fruit machine. <laughs> oh, look, the fruit machine is free, and I've got a bulging sporran. Huh? Right. Bobby in the slot, and a good yank on this... Just for luck. <laughs> and here we go. Look at that. Three melons. <laughs> uh, I'll put those in my string bag. It's deep fried melon and chips tonight. Place your bits. Place your bits. Mrs. Nochty, what are you doing here? Shh. Not a word. I'm here undercover. Well, not that much cover in that costume. 
Too much cleavage. You should see her from the front. No. <laughs> I've changed my tactics. Oh, they were chafing me. <laughs> but now, Mr. Dougal, I am out to destroy this temple of depravity from within. Good luck to you, Mrs. Nochty. I'm right behind you. Oh, cold hands, warm sporran. <laughs> but not a word to Hamish. Have you all placed your bets? Rien ne va plus. Fingers crossed. <laughs> James, Mrs. Nochty, you're a wonder on that unicycle. <laughs> Fifty P says she falls off. You're on. No, I'm not. Oh! Damn you, Hamish. Here's your money. Oh, I'm on a roll. So am I. I landed awkwardly on the buffet. <laughs> right. The gambling fever is still upon me, and I'm going for the big one. And when you get back, Hamish, how about... <laughs> how about placing a really enormous bet? Bring it on. Oh, have some sense, man. I see a big coup in the offing. <laughs> Get that big coup out of my casino. Yes, yeah, serious gambling to be done. I'm ready for anything. Do your worst. Good. I have here a perfectly ordinary pack of cards. Manners? Now, now, Hamish, name a card. Any card at all. Um, seven of clubs. Nope. Bad luck. That's two thousand pounds, you earn it. Best of three. Very well. Think of a card. Any card at all. Three of diamonds. Nope. I was thinking of the King of Hearts. Bad luck, that's four thousand pounds. Like candy from a baby. All right, double or quits. Oh, no, no, Hamish, hold it right there. Oh, that's better. Now. <laughs> now, step aside. Let me play the game in your place. No, I can win this. I feel it in my water. Sit on him, Mrs. Nochty. With pleasure. Oh! Hmm, what's going on here? It's just you and me, your lairdship. Game on. Then so be it. Think of a card. Any card at all. No, your lairdship. You think of a card. What? But... Ah, <laughs> I... <laughs> yes, you don't like it when the boots are down and the chip's on the other foot. <laughs> Come on, think of a card. The, uh, the, the, the ten of, uh, uh, diamonds. Damn! <laughs> Dougal! Uh, I'm sorry, old friend. Uh, I thought I'd cracked his system. <laughs> That'll be 8,000... Well, let's round it up to 10,000 pounds. Oh, Dougal, we're ruined. I've certainly learned my lesson. I bet you haven't. I bet he has. What do you bet? 10,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have had your tea. The Doings of Hamish and Dougal was written and performed by Barry Cryer and Graham Garden, with Alison Steadman as Mrs. Nochty and Jeremy Hardy as the Laird. Music was arranged by John Garden and performed by Pete Rosser, Kylie Davies, Ross Stephen and Sean Randall. The producer was John Naismith.